Last year, we made a human-sized mermaid tail the exact same way we made our doll-sized mermaid tail. However, the model fin didn't work quite the way we wanted it to. And since we made it out of craft foam, it looked really great outside of the water, but when you got in the pool, it was kind of floppy. So that was model fin mark one. However, you guys gave us lots of suggestions on how to make different versions. One idea was duct tape and cardboard. However, we replaced the cardboard with a plastic placemat. And came up with Monofin Mark II. This Monofin is a lot smaller and we had to add some water vents. We also made it to fit our water shoes so that we wouldn't be rubbing against the, the duct tape because that might be a little uncomfortable. However, when we went to try it out at the pool, it was still a little floppy. So it's time for Monofin Mark III. We're gonna try it again with duct tape, only this time we're gonna use the top from a plastic container. And an old pair of swim shoes. Each Monofin has to be customized to the swimmer's feet. So I'm going to need you to put your swim shoes on and let's get crafty. vents in the front and I covered the whole plastic tail first with duct tape so that it won't tear through the mermaid tail when we later resize it. We used three rolls of duct tape at $4 a piece and the plastic storage container was $4.99 which is about $5 so the whole project cost around $17. Now let's see if it works. <laughs> You totally zoomed by me in the water. The only problem that we noticed was scraping the bottom of the pool. It will wear the duct tape after a while. However, that is something we can easily fix. All we have to do now is resize our mermaid tail to fit our new monofin. And then we'll have our own swimmable mermaid tail. And we'll see you next time on, on the Frog Vlogs. Vlog.